Hey gang, welcome to my channel if you've been here before and if this is your first time here, super glad you stumbled upon my channel. There are videos on this channel that can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, or body image challenge. I'm Kelly, I am taking you through a full day of eating today. I am on a gut overhaul gut cleanse. So today's gonna be a full day of eating based on intuitive eating. For one, I eat intuitively. I did have an eating disorder for about, well, just over a decade. And so I don't track any macros. I don't count any calories, but I do eat with an individualized approach. So I eat according to how my body metabolizes foods. I am an advanced holistic health practitioner, individualized diagnostic nutrition and weight loss specialist. Say that five times fast. Anyway, I'm gonna take you through what I eat in the day. So the gut cleanse I'm on right now is also a complete sugar detox. It's for getting rid of all excess water retention, all inflammation also, everything is anti-inflammatory. So it's just a super, super healthy way of eating. I also make sure that every single main meal of my day has complete proteins, healthy fats, and healthy carbs. If you wanna know why, I have linked a couple of videos below where I explain all that in more detail. But basically, your body needs complete protein. It builds all of its cellular structural walls out of of complete protein. If you're not getting complete protein, the cell walls are more like plywood, cardboard, easily damaged, easily invaded by free radicals, which is anything that can damage or kill a cell. You also need healthy fats. Healthy fats are so, so important and they cannot make you fat. And especially if your ancestry came from somewhere that had heavy winters, your body is going to thrive on lots of healthy fats and lots of complete protein, which is most of us in North America, I'd say, and also healthy carbs. So your body considers anything that never once came from an ancestor animal as a carbohydrate. The word carbohydrate comes from the word carbon. Anything from the earth is a carbohydrate to your body. So all of my main meals will include that. Every snack that I eat is the rule of thumb, no carbs alone. So if I have a fruit as a snack, I'm gonna have some nuts or some nut butter with that. If I'm gonna have raw veggies as a snack, I'm gonna have some hummus with it and such. So come along with me, let's get into breakfast. I'll show you what I got. All right, I'm back. I've been working up a storm. I had breakfast at about 8 a.m. So now it's about 10 o'clock a.m. and I'm gonna have my first snack. Then I will get on to walking. I always go for a walk every day. I go for sometimes two walks. I like to work out a good three times a week. Anyway, that might give you a little background as to why I eat the various things that I do, but intuitive eating is all about listening to your hunger. So you eat when your body needs food. You only eat as much as your body wants to eat and you're able at this point after enough history with nutrition and food to tell what your body really is needing. Cravings can be suspicious. Sometimes you'll have a craving and it won't be a craving for what you think it might be like chocolate. Often that's a craving for magnesium and things like that. So anyway, let's get on to this snack.
and we are back from the walk. It was so unbelievably cold. My eyes watered the entire time. <laughs> but anyway, I'm hungry now. It's lunchtime. Let's get some lunch going and let me show you a really cool device that I purchased. So this has got to be the coolest egg making device I have ever seen. It's just got a hot plate there. This is for putting the individual eggs on. This is if you want to make poached. This is for if you want to make little mini omelets. Let me show you how it works. Eggs. I actually got it from Indigo. <laughs> So I don't know, what's that in the US? Like Barnes and Noble? Indigo, it's a bookstore of all strange things. It comes with this and on it has lines like hard, medium, or soft. Now, I really like a good medium egg and this makes them really soft. So I fill the little cup to the hard line and that's about just over medium, if not exactly medium, but I'll show you. And if you haven't heard of this before, steaming your eggs rather than boiling them makes the shells pop right off. I'll show you. So if you have an instant pot, that's what I used to use. Use your instant pot. Put a cup of water in, as many eggs as you want in there. Set the timer manual four minutes. You'll get perfectly medium eggs and the shells will come right off. But let me show you how to use this. So this is by Dash Egg Cooker. Oh, they also made a really cute little egg bite maker. If you like the egg bites from Starbucks, look at that. I haven't used this one yet. We're gonna use this. So what you do is again, I am gonna fill this to the line that says hard there. Cause let me tell you the line that said medium was very soft. So you just pour the water into the hot plate area. Then you take your egg and on the larger end, there's a pin in the bottom of this. You poke the egg and you'd think it would break the whole shell, but it doesn't. It just puts a tiny little hole. I'm only making two. Flick it on and it makes the eggs. I'm actually gonna time it, I haven't yet. 12.56. So we'll see how long it takes to make these eggs. And in the meantime, I'll prepare the rest of my lunch. This is one of, if not the only bread I found that is cleanse friendly. It's carb wise bread, 10 grams of protein for two slices, which is amazing. No sugar, no gluten, nothing artificial. Almond flour, psyllium husk, sea salt, flaxseed, flax meal, egg whites, water, pumpkin seeds, grain free baking powder and distilled vinegar. And it's only 120 calories for two slices. But if you go to the Slice of Life website, it'll show you purchase locations. So I'm gonna toast two slices of this. Alternatively, you can use rice cakes in place of bread. Gonna have one of these bad boys. This is Zevia, so it's zero calorie. It's a cola, it's got a little bit of caffeine, no sugar, no artificial sweeteners. It's carbonated water, stevia leaf extract, tartaric acid, natural flavors, caffeine, and citric acid. So very, very healthy cola option, comes in all kinds of flavors. You don't want any aspartame. Mm -mm. Pepper, salt. Tiny bit of cumin goes on everything because it's a natural fat burner. I really put it in all my meals. Everything but the bagel seasoning, I'm telling you, amazing. You can get it on Amazon. I found this one at HomeSense. Seriously, if you haven't yet, go to HomeSense Winters and Marshalls for your spices if you're in Canada because you get amazing spices there. I put everything on the avocado underneath the eggs. I just find it to work a little bit better. Eggs are done. So I'm gonna run these under some cold water, stop the cooking process, but still leave them nice and warm. Woo! And then I'll put them on my toast. Done though. They just fall off. Now I know it's not an A plus for presentation or anything. Delish, very fast, very easy. Oh yeah. And I guess it took about eight minutes to cook the eggs. Voila. So it's not that great to take a whole whack of supplements in terms of pills and capsules every day. So I get what I can in powder. This is L-glutamine. L-glutamine is great for exercise recovery. It helps your immunity, helps increase your energy, helps your digestive system and your brain function. It's just awesome. And these are the collagens that I take. So bovine collagen is for everything on the inside of your body, like organs, tendons, ligaments, joints, and to keep your gut healthy. Marine collagen is great for the outside, hair, skin, nails. So I'm gonna use these two. I'm also going to hack a chocolate milk or milkshake out of this by putting some cacao powder in my blender with some ice 
check this out. And you can also use a frother. So this is the frother for my Keurig. It makes hot and cold frost things. Mm. It's so good. It's so good. We're gonna use my Breville Boss. Now for blenders, if you're taking any kind of a powder, so protein powder, greens powder, you need to make sure that it's bioavailable in your gut, meaning small enough particles that your gut can properly absorb it. So what you wanna do is get a blender that is equally as powerful, if not more powerful than the Vitamix. I used to burn out blenders all the time, making my own protein bars. My favorite homemade protein bar recipe is linked below, but this blender, it's BPA free, it is fantastic. It makes all kinds of good stuff and especially good for green smoothies, bioavailability of micronutrients. Get you one of these. Paid for itself a million times over. And if you haven't seen my other videos, Disney Obsessed picked up these sweet vintage Disney cups at a flea market. Yes, that's awesome. So good. You can also thicken this by putting avocado or pureed pumpkin in there. Wow, amazing, I didn't even try. Cheers. And because I'm still not totally full, you can't really have cereal on a gut cleanse. There's sugar in every cereal. This is just plain old rice puffs. Absolutely plain. We're gonna have some of that to kill this cereal craving. I'm also gonna add some of this granola for good measure. This is the healthiest granola I have ever seen. Ever. No sugar. Sunflower seeds, coconut chips, pumpkin seeds, erythritol, cold pressed coconut oil, hazelnuts, pecans, Brazil nuts, cinnamon, vanilla powder. That's it. Are we still hungry? I don't even know, but I am still hungry. It's probably because I'm working so much. The most energy sucking thing we can do is think. So anyway, I'm gonna make another snack. I am having some powdered almond butter on rice cakes with a cleanse friendly blueberry jam. Another thing that is rarely heard of. Let me show ya. So there's no sugar added. This is just powdered almonds. So I put it in a little dish. You mix water in with it. That's gonna be our almond butter. Basically it's all of the protein and far are less than half the calories, which is not always best because you get a lot of healthy fats in regular almond butter, but the amount that I eat every day. This is helpful. Healthiest blueberry spread I have ever seen by Nature's Hollow. This stuff has no sugar added either. The ingredients are just water, xylitol, erythritol, pectin, just good stuff. Now the best rice cakes that I have found are from Smart Bite. I wrecked the package, so I will put a picture of it on the screen. But these rice cakes are awesome. Quinoa is good for you. It's also a complete protein. Ta-da! Just this. For now. Dinner soon. What's up, gang? It is about 5.30-ish. And I'm already hungry. So tonight we are going to have a taco bowl. That is on the menu because that is one of the easiest gut-friendly, gluten-free, dairy-free, anti-inflammatory, all of that jazz meals. And I just love them. Let's go. If you haven't got a rice cooker, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. So we're gonna have some basmati. Also, cooking your rice in broth is delicious. If you have a good bone broth, veggie broth, whatever, chicken broth, so good. Oh, and you wanna put a little bit of butter in there. I really like Earth Balance, soy-free, the best dairy-free butter. Healthy fats, right? I've already made a little bit of ground turkey, so I'm just gonna heat that up in a pan. I also make my own taco seasoning at home. I will link the recipe below in the description box. I already shredded up some goat mozzarella. Goat cheese is much easier on our body than dairy and won't cause the same kind of inflammation or water retention. Is it just me or does anyone else really not like the tomato seeds in their dish? Like this gunk? Nope, not happening.
easiest way to have jalapenos in your dish, but I have a leftover red pepper that I need to use. Normally I'd use these, but I'm gonna use that red chili today. This one. Now is when I put the cheese in because then the hot rice and the meat melts the cheese. Earth Island is the best brand of dairy-free cheese if you choose that over goat. And now we wait for the good stuff. I forgot to mention, you should put crushed up tortilla chips on your taco balls. These are bonitos. I will put a picture right here. Restaurant style white bean chips. The ingredients of these guys, whole white beans, sunflower oil, rice flour, tapioca starch, and sea salt. That's it. These I also love. Black bean chips, six grams of protein per serving, and it's just black beans, brown rice, safflower, or sunflower oil, and sea salt. Normally you put them on the top, but. Delish. Pepper, sea salt, cumin. Be careful the salsa that you get does not have added sugar. Normally I like to use Neal Brothers. Here's a picture, but I'm out. I just finished it yesterday, so we're gonna use Tostitos Medium, no sugar added. And also, I use this as sour cream as well because it tastes just like sour cream, any plain yogurt, and it's much better for you. Now I know the presentation isn't great, but I'm telling you, this bad boy is delicious. All right, gang, that brings us to the end of the day where dessert happens. It is around 7.30. I really like to eat dessert by 7.30 because then it doesn't impact my sleep and my body can work on doing all of its assimilation, metabolization, and all of that rather than digesting. Anyhow, let's get on with dessert and I will show you what I have. Dessert is very much like breakfast. You'll notice a lot of the same things. We're gonna start by putting the berries in a bowl. Then we're gonna top that with some yogurt. Some more stevia will go in. Nutmeg, cumin, cinnamon. We got our walnuts back, pumpkin seeds, unsweetened dark chocolate chips. We're gonna use the powdered almond butter because I already had two servings of the regular stuff earlier. And this healthiest granola I have ever seen in my life. I do have a recipe for healthy granola. Nola. If you want to see a video of that, let me know. But let's get on and assemble all of this. noticed I decided against the powdered almond butter. I just wasn't feeling it. There's already too much yogurt in that bowl. Really didn't need it. Anyway, that brings us to the end of the day. I hope you enjoyed my full day of eating. I hope maybe it was helpful for you, gave you maybe some ideas, taught you a little bit about the various things you can eat if you're trying to be absolutely perfectly gut-friendly healthy. If you would like to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments. Please ask any questions you might have for any Q&As and just other video ideas in general. What do you want to see? So if you thought this video was helpful, informative, or entertaining at all, please give it a thumbs up down there. So that really helps to support the channel. The most support ever though really does come from subscribing and I am so grateful to any and all subscribers. That really is where us YouTubers get our support from for creating all of this content. If you would like notifications of each time I post a new video, please hit that little bell notification icon down there and you will be sent a notification each time I upload. And until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun eating whatever it is you like to eat for you and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.